Celebrities are just like us, except with one little difference. Their children are much better looking. Nothing against little Timmy, of course. He probably has a great personality. But it's hard to compare to some of these celeb sons who grew up to be gorgeous. John David Washington With the help of the HBO comedy Ballers, John David Washington, the oldest of Denzel and Pauletta Washington's four children, is quickly proving to be as good-looking and talented as his Oscar-winning father. And with a slate of upcoming film projects in the works, can a co-starring role alongside Dad be very far behind? One can only dream. Jack Schlossberg As a member of the Kennedy family, it was perhaps inevitable that Jack Schlossberg, the son of Caroline Kennedy, would grow up to be good-looking. Still, it's actually quite jaw-dropping to see just how much the Ivy League graduate takes after his uncle, the late John F. Kennedy Jr. Looks aside, Schlossberg already appears to be continuing his family's legacy. Not only did he co-found a nonprofit organization while still a teen, he's reportedly attending Harvard Law School with an aim of entering politics someday. Way to go, Jack! Wyatt Russell With parents like Kurt Russell and Goldie Hawn, it was perhaps inevitable that their only son together, Wyatt, would grow up to become an actor. But despite his famous DNA, the 22 Jump Street star has had to work for everything he's gotten. He told Interview Magazine, I don't get things from my parents. When I stopped playing hockey and started acting, the last person I was going to ask for help was my dad. He's the king of being like, I don't know, it's good work if you can get it. Good luck. Max Minghella Fans may know him as Nick Blaine on The Handmaid's Tale, but what they may not know is that Max Minghella is actually the son of the late Oscar-winning director Anthony Minghella, the man behind such classics as The English Patient and The Talented Mr. Ripley. Though he's done everything from screenwriting to music videos over his career, Max didn't fully embrace acting until his friends and family urged him to consider The Handmaid's Tale. He told Interview Magazine, When they unanimously felt like this was a good idea, I read it quite seriously, and I understood why they were excited about it. It all felt quite organic. I didn't have to force myself to be excited about it. It was something that I really thought had a lot to say. Alexander Skarsgård Whether he's sexing it up on HBO's True Blood or wearing a loincloth in The Legend of Tarzan, Alexander Skarsgård, the son of iconic actor Stellan Skarsgård, is beautiful to the point where he's almost intimidating to look at. But he's not just another pretty face, having earned an Emmy nomination for his role in the acclaimed Amazon series Big Little Lies. Dad must be proud. Just make sure you get his name right. Oh, Alexander Skarsgård. 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 Chris Pine. Speaking of sons who grew up to be almost intimidatingly hunky, can we talk about how suave and sexy Chris Pine has become since landing the lead role in Star Trek in 2009? Indeed, thanks to roles in epics like Wonder Woman and on-point sartorial choices, the Son of Chips alum Robert Pine is the type of actor and celebrity that both men and women can agree is hotter than pretty much every global warming forecast. Plus, he even had a chance to work with his dad in the film Small Town Saturday Night. How cool is that? We'll always be here for you. This will always be your home, right? Gabriel Kane Day-Lewis When you mix the genes of Daniel Day-Lewis with Isabelle Ageny, you get someone who is born to be a model. Namely, Gabriel Kane Day-Lewis. Though he has also dabbled in both acting and music, for now Gabriel Kane seems intent on becoming the most in-demand male model in the world. We sure wouldn't bet against him. Henry Wolfe Despite having maybe the greatest acting genes in his DNA makeup, Meryl Streep's son Henry Gummer has chosen to take a different path than his famous mom, opting for music over acting. The musician, who goes by the stage name Henry Wolfe, briefly studied acting at NYU. But he told the New York Daily News, For me, music was more stimulating from day to day. It was something that I didn't need to be working on a project to practice. I can do it whenever, and I get satisfaction from completing songs that I never really got from acting. As a solo artist, the former member of Bravo Silva has released multiple albums, most recently, A Silomar in 2015. Rock on! Thanks for watching. Click the Nikki Swift icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.